Do you guys know how awesome Quirk Books is? The answer is that they're really awesome. They are the publishers of Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, and more recently, Hollow City, the sequel. If you're unfamiliar with Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, there are a lot of vintage photographs throughout the book, and to our eyes, they're obviously manipulated, but within the context of the story, they're real. The sequel, Hollow City, picks up right after the first book ends, and these peculiar people with their peculiar superpowers and their world are under threat from a creature called Hollows. While I definitely enjoyed the first book, I enjoyed the second book even more. Ransom Riggs writing has definitely improved over the years, and it was just a really fun book to read. This sequel was definitely not a letdown. And the best part is, there's gonna be another book. Quirk Books is also really awesome because they sent me Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, the graphic novel. And you might not be surprised by this because it was in my last video, but I just wanted to take the time to show it to you more closely because it really is a beautiful book. And it's one that's definitely worth going back through and enjoying again, especially because it goes so quickly. I do have to say that in the graphic novel, since it goes very quickly, the romance seemed a little fast for me. There just wasn't enough to it to justify it. But since I know the deeper context to the story, I can still understand it, since it's in the original novel. But I thought this was a really great way to revisit the story of the first book without actually reading the whole thing. One thing that I was a little confused with about the Miss Peregrine series is if all of the photographs actually physically exist in the story. In the first book, some of the photographs are photos that Jacob has or has found, but then a lot of them are just kind of there next to text that describes the character in the photograph, and they're in situations that would be really weird to have photographs taken in that moment. So I don't know if there's just an unmentioned peculiar whose ability is to take photographs with his mind, or if they're really just meant to be illustrations. So that part is a little bit confusing, but they still really add a lot to the story. It's also really interesting to see the relationship between the photos and what might have inspired events in the story as the author found them, or ones that he used to fit in with plans that he already had for the story. Quirk Books has a lot of other really awesome titles, like Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, and William Shakespeare's Star Wars, which is a really awesome new series, and I am really excited for the next book to come out. So if you didn't know about Quirk Books already, you should definitely go check them out. I will put their links in the description. That's all for this video, and I'll see you later. Bye!